Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well today we're going to be doing another catch clean cook. And tonight we're cooking red porgy on the half shell. This would be pretty good. We're also going to be doing, on the side a little bit, doing a, a collar from the golden tile fish. We're going to be doing both on the grill. So this should be pretty interesting. I've never had a golden tile, golden tile collar before. <laughs> Try to say that three times fast. But I've had collars from other fish and I really like the collar. So I'm kind of excited to see what that's going to taste like. And I've never had red porgy done on the half shell. So I'm excited to see what that's going to taste like. So real quick, guys, we'll get everything ready. I want you guys to check out this video of me catching this really nice size red porgy or pinky. We also call them pinkies. And I'll see you here at the cleaning table and I'll see you back in here at the kitchen. Mine. He's on here, I missed him. There we go. There we go. There we go. Double? Doubled up. Double up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what you got? That'd be a big board. Alrighty. I think so. That's a fat for you right there, buddy. A fat for you, buddy. Hey, you sure? Yeah. 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 That's probably the biggest pinky I've ever caught in my life. I think it was right, but I think I'm the only one that's got a bottom ten cut. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, I got my big old red porky here, or pinky, and this is a nice one. It's probably one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up real quick. This is a pretty easy fish to clean as well. And we're going to do this fish two different ways. Go all the way down this backbone here. Make sure I hear that clicking sound so I get all the way to that backbone. We'll come through right about here. Go all the way down. across these rib cages make a cut right here there we go all right and there we go really nice porgy fillet and we're gonna leave the skin on this one Go ahead and take what a little bit of pin bones I have right here. Out. 
just like that. And I think that's about it right there. I'm going to try to get this off. There we go. Definitely want to get those pin bones out. And we're going to leave the rest of that intact. And we're going to cook that on the half shell. Came out really nice. All right, y'all. We are in the kitchen. And I got my pink porgy filet or red porgy. And I got my uh, golden tile fish collar. So all we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and take a lemon. A couple lemons. Gonna squeeze some juice on the fish fillets, just like that, or on the collar. All right, and then all we're gonna do is put some black and red fish magic on them, quite a bit, and that is it. I'm gonna go out and get the grill ready, and we'll be ready to cook these. All right, guys, we're at the grill. It's just about at 400 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and put our collar on and our red porgy filet. Just like that. Looks really good. So we'll let these cook on one side. We're not gonna flip them. We'll let them cook for about five to eight minutes. All right, well, that's on the grill cooking. We're gonna go ahead and melt a half a stick of butter along with a nice spoonful of garlic. And also, we're gonna squeeze in a couple lemons. And we're gonna put this on top of our fish fillets and our collar. So we'll let that all melt and come together. That should be good. All right, well, we're gonna check on our fish. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I think we still got a, yeah, we still got a little bit longer to go on it. But man, it's looking awesome. I wish y'all could smell this, I really do. All right, my butter and garlic and lemon sauce is all melted. That looks really good. Super simple. All right, come back out here to the grill. All righty. Almost done. Almost. Getting really close. I think the collar is pretty much done. Maybe another minute or so on that. Probably another two minutes on the filet. All right, well, we got our fish in our collar, our fish filet in our collar off the grill. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this on it. Both of them. And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And that looks awesome. And smells incredible. All right, I'm gonna get mine plated up. We'll sit down and eat. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and plate mine up. Get half a collar. I'm gonna take a portion of this off. Get it right there. Skin. There we go. Man, oh man. All right. Well, y'all, that looks outstanding. tile collar and we have our red porgy filet on the half shell all right let's see what we got here we're gonna try the red porgy first I mean, look at that 
That looks fantastic. Holy bull, oh wow. Wow. I think I've just found my new favorite way to cook red porgy. I usually just fry it, to be honest with you. Holy moly. That right there is way better than fried. That is phenomenal. I would pay super good money to eat that in a restaurant. That was really good. All right. This is going to be tough to beat. I'm going to have to take a chunk of this collar. There you go, the meat from the collar of the uh, golden tile fish. Holy crud. Guys, let me tell you something right now. If you ever catch a golden tile, do not throw away the collar. That is the best part of the fish. And the filet was awesome. We ate it the other night. It was fantastic. But that right there is the primo portion of your tile fish. That is phenomenal. If you've never kept collars off your fish, you catch a big enough fish, you should try it. I've kept collars off. Wow. Red snapper, grouper, big mango snapper. Kept them off cobia, amberjacks. Holy cow. That is phenomenal, guys. That is definitely the best part of the fish. Wow. I wish I had more than that. I'm going to save the other one for summer. She said she wanted to try it. so I'm going to save that for her. Wow. Guys, this was an incredible dinner. Out of all my catch and cooks, this one was probably the most shocking to me, to be honest with you. I knew it was going to be good. I knew the collar was going to be good. I knew the fish was going to be good, but I was not expecting it, either one of them, to be that good. That's awesome. Well, guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me tonight and doing this catch and cook with me and joining me for dinner. I really appreciate y'all. And until I get to see you guys again, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to this channel, for all your thumbs up, for all the interaction on the comment section, and just for being a part of this channel. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I really do. Thank you guys, and until I see you all again, tight lines, Jody Rockers. That was good. I mean, that's stupid good. Phenomenal.